hello attendees. We're going to wait a couple minutes to actually get started. Um, in the meantime, let's have introductions. All right. Um, so East Bay is first up. I'll begin with myself. That's all right. I'm Mark Strong from California State University, East Bay. We're located in the San Francisco Bay Area. We're one of the 23 CSUs in the state of California. And whoever wants to go and introduce themselves can do so right now. I'll go if no one else will go. Um, my name is Susan Metzler. I'm with New Mexico State University. We're located in, in beautiful Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we're part of the WUI, the Western Undergraduate Exchange. So. I'll go. My name is Adele Karam, and I'm here from DigiPen Institute of Technology, and we're located in Redmond, Washington, just outside Seattle. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for having me here. I'm Donna San Miguel from Cal State San Marcos. We're located in Southern California, part of the 23 CSU um, school system. Uh, thanks for having me. Hi everyone, my name is Randall Chavez and I'm a counselor over from Azusa Pacific. We're a private Christian school about, about 30 miles out of LA. My name's Sophie. I'm with Azusa Pacific University at the Marietta Regional Campus. So just the campus located in Marietta. My name is John Sampson. I'm with Vanguard University in Orange County, Southern California. Hello, my name is Andrea Sandejas. I'm the Southern California Enrollment Counselor for Cal Maritime. Hello, my name is uh, Jason Mata Ali, and I am one of the admissions counselors here at West Cliff University and Irvine. Thank you. Okay, did we get everybody? I think we did. Okay, hi, my name is Gina. Um, I'll be your host today, and my co hosts are Elizabeth and Charles. Do you want to say hi? Hello, my name is Elizabeth Mahan. Hello, I'll be doing... Go ahead. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Mahan. I'll be doing the QA portion. Um, turn it over to Mr. Walker. Hey, thanks again for coming. Uh, too bad we can uh, meet up at the reception that we normally normally have. Uh, we're excited. We had great numbers attend um, all throughout the day. We'll see where we are today. Thanks again. Yeah, so thank you all for being here. We're really thankful for our panelists and really thankful for all the attendees we have today. Um, just a brief overview of how the event is going to look. So the first portion of the event is going to be a presentation from each of the colleges. So you're going to learn a little bit about them and about their colleges that they're representing. And then the second portion is going to be a question and answer portion. So as questions come to you, you can put those in the Q&A box. Um, it should be on the lower right part of the screen. And then with those questions in mind, we'll answer them at the end, that'll be the portion that Elizabeth will be helping out with. So without further, further ado, let's start. So we're going to start with California State University East Bay. All right, thank you very much. Can everyone hear me? Great. Should be good. All right. I'm sharing my window with you here. Okay, so we are California State University East Bay in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, about 30 minutes east of San Francisco, about 40 minutes north of San Jose, the largest city in the Bay Area. We were founded in 1957 as Hayward State College or Alameda County State College, and we are now Cal State East Bay to reflect the growth of the East Bay region in terms of population. Okay. Uh oh. My slide is not moving here. There we go. Wow. I'm already losing time. Okay, what are we known for? Biomedical sciences, health science, biology, biochemistry. We train most of the East Bay's teachers with degrees, credentials, speech pathologists, masters and BA degrees as well, as well as nurses with degrees, four-year degrees. Business is our largest major. We have Sydney Art Fitness Center, known as the RAW, Recreation and Wellness, Indoor Jogging Track, Jamba Dudes, Fitness Equipment, you name it. We're at Harlem Bay Area, equal distance, as I mentioned, to San Francisco and San Jose on a good traffic day. So we're kind of in the middle of everything, surrounded by many great features. 
like. Here's our student profile here. Just under 16,000 student body enrollment, nine women's teams, six men's teams for Division II, 21 student faculty ratio, 61% of our teams are first generation in their family to will obtain a college degree. And there is our regional map there. If you can see the city of Hayward right below Oakland, we're about 20 minutes from Oakland and then Berkeley. And as you can see, San Jose in the south, across the bay, San Francisco, which is why we're known as the heart of the bay. Okay. And why, why is 30% of our students majoring in business? Because of all these great companies that you're familiar with, interacting with every single day. Only New York City has more Fortune 500 companies in the Bay Area, but we have very iconic brand names in the Bay Area and throughout California. That is very important. Study abroad. Like most CSUs or all CSUs, we have a study abroad program, okay, and a dedicated office of parents map out their year or their summer or their semester. Division two, once again, we're part of the NCAA and the CCAA, California Collegiate Athletic Association. Some of our recent accolades there. Very robust student life as well. As you can see, 56 academic, 23 cultural, 30 Greek, 5 recreation, special interest and religious, 5,800, 5, just over number of student recognized members and organizations, and 975 student groups as well, hosted events. Student housing overlooking the Bay. Another thing about housing, not only are we in the middle of the Bay Area, but we're above the Bay in the East Bay Hills overlooking San Francisco Bay. And we're so high up, you can see San Francisco 20 miles away, very unique kind of quality of life that it gives our students in a city, but above a city. So kind of removed, but when you want to get into everything, you just take the shuttle down the hill, take BART, the subway system, and go explore. Right now, we have four students living on campus in their own rooms, maybe shared apartment with their own rooms because of COVID-19. All food from the dining commons is now taken out to the room. There's no more eating in the dining commons until further notice, of course, because of COVID-19. Our majors, we have no impacted majors at East Bay except for nursing. So nursing is the only impacted major. And that means you apply when you're a junior after having completed several prerequisites. All other majors free and clear. So when you apply, you're in your major. And where do you go to apply? Cal State apply right there, October 1 through December 4th, 2020. $70 application fee, unless you receive a fee waiver. Okay, CSU eligibility for this year, uh, going forward to further notice, students earning 2.5 in the A3G courses will be admitted to most CSUs. Where impacted campuses, you wanna check with those admission websites specifically for impacted schools, especially for those majors, check that campus specifically. Okay, A3G's right there, you're familiar with those. Obligation deadlines. Financially, there's your student budget right there. And thank you very much. My email, mark.strong at csueastbay.edu. Thank you. All right. And that was my alarm for four thank minutes. So much. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a pretty fitting uh, ringtone you got there for the end of the presentation. I love it. Thank and you. Now we're going to move on to Vanguard University. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me share my screen really quickly here. PowerPoint. Share. All right. Hope everyone can see that well. Um, so I am uh, representing Vanguard University today. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions, and so I work with uh, all of our students in the Orange County area and then as well as other students in the surrounding Southern California area. Uh, to talk a little bit about Vanguard University, we are located in Costa Mesa, um, as I mentioned earlier, which is about 4.6 miles to Newport Beach. So we're right down the street from Newport Beach. If you've ever been to the Orange County Fairgrounds, uh, you'll know that Vanguard is right across the street from the Orange County Fairgrounds, directly across the street. Uh, we are a private Christian university, and we have a little over 1,700 students. And so if you're looking for small class sizes and getting to know your professors on a personal level, uh, Vanguard University does have those opportunities. And so let me move over to the next slide. So um, a few of the different pieces I'll be talking about in, in the short uh, few minutes that we have here is we are celebrating our 100th anniversary this year. So Vanguard is actually the first four-year college or university in Orange County. And along with being the first four-year college or university, we actually came to Orange County before Disneyland did. Um, so a few little known fact, Vanguard was here before Disneyland was. Um, but uh, celebrating our 100th anniversary, as, you'll, as you saw in this uh, first picture, the WA Student Center, we actually just opened a brand new student center uh, in February, right before everything happened with the coronavirus. But we opened a brand new student center where we have a fitness center, a basketball and a volleyball court, 
um, ellipticals and treadmills. We have a new cafeteria. I mean, it's a beautiful space to enjoy our, our nice weather that's in the 70s to 80s on a year round basis. Um, and so that's uh, a little bit about celebrating 100 years. We do have academic excellence though with our 39 different degree programs that we offer, whether it ranges from business or psychology to kinesiology, um, uh, business psychology, kinesiology, biology, and, um, and nursing. Those are our top majors. And so if you're interested in becoming a nurse, that is one of our top majors as well. If you wanted to graduate with your bachelor's degree in teaching credential in four years, we actually have a program for that. So instead of spending five, six, or even seven years to get your bachelor's degree and your teaching credential, Vanguard actually helps you do that and complete it all within four years of your degree. Um, and then the next piece would be our strong spiritual climate. At Vanguard University, being a Christian university, we do have over 100 opportunities every semester for students to attend 30 chapels. So every semester you can attend chapel twice a week and we have over eight or nine opportunities every week to do that. And then students also take five theology classes while they're a student at Vanguard. Um, and so a little bit more, we are an authentic and caring community. As I mentioned, we do, um, we do have uh, a location that is in a great spot being 4.6 miles to the beach. Um, we also have that 30, 35,000 square foot student center that I just mentioned, the WAS student center. And then we have 18 different sports uh, for our students who are interested in playing sports on campus. We'd love for you to play a sport for any of our 18 different opportunities that we have. So 18 sports, all of our sports offer athletic scholarships as well. Whether you're interested in basketball or golf or soccer, or softball, baseball, many other sports um, that we have as well. And so part of being a private university, we also are ranked number four by the US News and World Report for the most students receiving merit aid, um, with part of that being 100% of our freshmen receive an academic scholarship. And so that finishes up my time here. If you do have any questions, you can contact us at that, um, at that page or that email. And then at the very bottom, if you do want a free application, you don't want to pay the $45 to apply, you use that discount code. So if you want to take a picture of this slide, use the discount code at the bottom and you don't have to pay that $45. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for hearing about Vanguard. Okay. okay. Who's next? Good. I think I'm up. Yep. Okay. Let me just pull up, share my screen here. All right. Okay, I am Susan Metzler with New Mexico State University. Um, we are located in beautiful Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is the second largest city in New Mexico. But we have a population of only 100,000. So it is a college town, um, safe, friendly, uh, great climate. We are in the desert, but we are located in a river valley. So we do have green grass, green trees, and lots of agriculture. All right. I don't know if this slide is going to work. Sometimes I have problems with it. I see it's not doing it. This is just a super quick 30 second little video. Let's see if it works here. Oh, it did not. Um, that's okay. But just some facts about us. We were founded in 1888. We are the land grant University of New Mexico. We are the main campus for the New Mexico State University system. We have just over 14,000 students on campus. Our average class size is only 27. So it is a large state university where you have lots of options, lots of, lots of majors, lots of opportunities, but we are still small enough that you can get to know the students in your classes and your faculty members. Um, just some really important things about us. We do not have any impacted majors at New Mexico State. We are part of the WUI, so you do automatically get that tuition discount. You don't have to qualify for it or apply for it. We automatically give it to members of all WUI states. We also have merit scholarships for out-of-state students that you can earn in addition to the WUI discount. Our closest major airport is El Paso. There are direct flights from San Diego, Oakland, and LA. We do have D1 Athletics. We're part of the Western Athletic Conference. And for California students, some of our really um, popular degree programs are creative media, any of our agriculture programs, nursing, computer science, business, engineering. We do have aerospace engineering in addition to lots of other engineering degrees and kinesiology and athletic training. We do have nearly 100 undergraduate degree options, education, business, arts and sciences, you said engineering, nursing. We also have the oldest honors college in New Mexico. Um, I made this slide myself. It's not pretty, so <laughs> bear with me. But 
So students, out-of-state students get one discount and they can earn one scholarship. Um, for discounts, we do have the WUI discount and this shows you our tuition and fees for members of the WUI states this year. But then we also have an out-of-state competitive student discount. So students who have a weighted 3.5 GPA and an ACT or an SAT of at least ACT 23, SAT 1140, they actually receive in-state tuition. Um, for anything else, we're not even looking at ACTs or, or SATs this year just because of the virus, but we do need them for the out-of-state competitive discount. We do have merit scholarships that are going to range from $1,500 to $4,500 weight uh, based on your weighted GPA. And currently our application is free. Um, it will be the tuition, I mean, the application fee will be waived until October 31st. So if you do want to apply, I, I really recommend that you apply soon. Um, this is my contact information. If you want, you can take a picture of it. Um, I work with all students in the state of California. And we also have this little QR code. So if you have a phone, you can even take a picture of it. It will take you right into our application page. And that is it. Thank you. All righty, the next present, uh, presenter is Westcliff. If you want to start. All righty, yes. Uh, let me see, let me share my screen here with you guys. Um, and I actually wanted to start off with a small little video. Can you guys see this? No, it still says uh, you're started to screen share. It's still like screen. Okay, there we go. I, I think it is. All right, here we go. I have a couple small clips and then a couple slides I want to share with you. All right, and I have one more I want to show real quick. All righty, can everybody hear me okay? All right, well, my name is uh, Jason Mata'ali'i and I am one of the admissions advisors uh, here at Westcliff University located in uh, Irvine, California, uh, sunny Irvine, California. And I just wanted to uh, share, I wanted to start off with just a couple of videos because uh, we are a fairly new, uh, I look at us as a fairly new upcoming university uh, here in Southern California. Uh, let me go to the next slide here, if we'll move over. 
All right, so Westcliff University, we are actually uh, known for our business, education, and IT programs. Uh, we are fully accredited, uh, regionally accredited uh, through WASC. We also uh, just recently received a global accreditation as well. Uh, we do have scholarships available. We have financial aid available as well for those that qualify. Uh, we have a 94% uh, student satisfaction rate and our, we do have a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Uh, we do one, uh, have 100% online programs as well as hybrid programs. We do have accelerated programs available. So if you would like, want to finish your um, degree in business education or IT uh, sooner, there is an option. Uh, we do conveniently have six start dates per year. We also have um, ESL pathway programs. We do service on uh, more than 85 plus countries, so we're very, very cultured. Uh, we do have uh, off-campus work internships as well, and we actually have a lot of new uh, sports, currently a 16 sport program, uh, programs that we do have. We actually just added five uh, this year. We just recently added a uh, dance and cheer, a tennis team, uh, eSports, uh, surfing team, any surfers out there, and then we're going to be adding a golf team in 2021. So we're super excited about the uh, new sports that we're adding uh, for the first time. So if anyone knows any friends or family members um, that are interested in any of these sports that we also have, uh, baseball, basketball, beach volleyball, uh, soccer, lacrosse, uh, sw swim and dive, water polo. So we definitely are currently recruiting and looking for brand new talent uh, all the time. As far as where we're located, so we're in Southern California. We're only about about 15, about 10 minutes away from uh, Hinton Beach, uh, some of the most popular beaches here in uh, Southern California. Um, there's a lot to do even outside of the campus. Uh, we're not too far from Los Angeles, less than an hour, uh, about an hour away from San Diego. Um, Laguna Beach is not too far either, 20 minutes away from Disneyland in, here in Southern California in Anaheim. Uh, a lot of resources that are available to our students. We have learning resources like academic resources, reading center, uh, career services for students that are looking to uh, further their career and to look for you know, job searches, uh, current uh, student services, uh, housing options, which is going to be off campus. All of our uh, housing is off campus. Uh, just a few things. We added uh, a few new clubs. We have uh, Ocean Awareness and Surf Club that we just currently added with a lot of the new sports that we have. Uh, Warrior Explorers and uh, Westcliff uh, Alliance of Venture uh, Entrepreneurs. So we're definitely excited to, to be here uh, and be part of this uh, virtual. Uh, I wanted to show this. If you have your phones on you, take a picture of this uh, Connect With Us. So we are on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, also, uh, you can tweet us as well. But uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Alrighty, uh, as soon as the screen is unshared, next up is California State University Maritime Academy. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Sandejas. I'm the Southern California Enrollment Counselor for Cal Maritime. Um, so we are another school in the Bay Area. We're representing the Bay today. And let me just share my screen so we can start the presentation. So you'll see a couple things on our uh, pictures here. We do wear uniform. We are part of the California State University, but we were originally founded as a Maritime Academy. So we're a hybrid of the two types of institutions. We are not a military school. There's no military commitment to any of our programs, but we are a highly technical school and very specified in the degree fields that we offer. We're the smallest in the Cal State. We only have about 1,100 students right now on campus. Seven different degree programs. Our average class size is one to 18, uh, student to fac uh, faculty to student ratio. We're really big on hands-on learning, experience-based learning. Uh, we make sure that all of our students have the opportunity to travel internationally. It's part of the degree requirement, and everyone also has to do an internship as part of their degree requirement. These are our seven degree programs that we offer here. Um, international Business, Global Studies, uh, Mechanical Engineering is the same type of ME program you're going to get from a wonderful Cal State that you choose. The difference for us, though, is that we offer marine transportation, which is how to navigate ships, Marine Engineering Technology, which is systems engineering for ships, and our option for mechanical engineering with the licensing from the Coast Guard. The licensing from the Coast Guard is a professional licensing. You're not joining the military. Just like you need a license to drive a car, you need a license to navigate a ship. And on our campus, as you're getting your degree, you're also doing the licensing required uh, to be able to work in those fields. So you graduate with your degree in marine transportation and the licensing as a third mate or a third engineering assistant. 
Campus Life, again, very small programs, uh, very small school. So we have all of our programs are NAI Division II, men and women's basketball. We offer, of course, a lot of water-based boards. We're really right off the Bay Area. Um, our campus actually edges the water. Uh, so you have sailing, soccer, uh, you know, water polo, as well as crew. All of our students do travel internationally for business, globals, and oceanography. They tend to travel during their sophomore summer or junior summer as part of their degree, and it's 50% educational, 50% um, touristing. So if you're going to China, you're going to go to an international business conference, but you also get to do, uh, you know, walk the Great Wall or other expeditions in that. For our engineering students and marine transportation students, they actually travel on board our 500-foot training ship, the Golden Bear. And it's a ship where you're going to take classes. You're going to take on the responsibilities of being working on the ship. Um, and you're going to run drills for safety as you're traveling throughout the ocean. So sometimes we go into the North Pacific, sometimes south. We'll cross through the Panama Canal, going to the Atlantic Ocean. And they're in ports for two, or four, two to four days. So you do get to go off ship and experience these um, international ports and domestic ports. We are part of the California State University system, so our application is going to be through Cal State Apply, as our other Cal States will uh, cover today. Uh, first time freshman requirements, we will not be requiring admission um, SAT or ACT for admission purposes. If you do have those test scores, you can send them in for placement, but they're not a requirement in order to uh, apply. We are competitive in four of our programs, marine transportation, marine engineering technology, and facilities engineering technology. We're going to recommend that you take physics and uh, pre-calc as part of your degree plan, um, but it's not necessarily going to be a make or break for admission. In comparison, mechanical engineering is one of our most competitive degree programs on our campus, and so we are going to require students to have pre-calculus by their senior year. Those are tuition and fees here. Uh, we are always going to recommend that families sit down and budget out what's going, uh, what's going to be happening when you apply to different universities. Uh, we are one of the better for bang for your buck universities because of the degrees that we offer. They tend to be uh, on the higher pay, paying grade scale. Please apply for FAFSA as you're applying for your schools. Make sure that you are adding all the schools that you're applying to your list so that we can offer you a financial aid letter as soon as we admit you. All of our students do internships. We all have the opportunity to sit down with a career professional as part of your degree field. So that internship can later lead on to a job placement. We have a 90% job placement rate for our graduating seniors. Um, and that's from all the hard work. Uniforms aren't easy. Um, internships aren't easy. But the international experience plus the faculty one-on-one -on -one that you have the opportunity to have all lead up to really great job opportunities. Please see our, visual, our virtual tour online. It's on YouTube. And you can find all of the information on our website, either through info, admissions, or visit. And that's all I have for you today. OK, the next one up after the uh, screen stem sharing is Azusa Pacific University in Murrieta. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'll be sharing for APU Marietta at the regional campus. Give me one moment. All right, so like I said, we are one of the regional campuses for Azusa Pacific University. Uh, my colleague Randall is going to show uh, more about our main campus after me, so I'm just going to talk about the, the Marietta campus. Our campus is located uh, we're kind of right where the 215 and the 15 meet. And here we go. All right, so the four cornerstones that represent APU are Christ, Community, Scholarship, and Service. And our hope is that you see these reflected throughout your time at APU, all the way from the admissions process through, uh, you know, enrollment and being a student at APU. We have over 10,000 students enrolled at APU. We have a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio for our graduate and professional programs. And we were founded in 1899. Uh, so we have a long history of scholarship in Southern California. 
One of the most unique parts about APU is that we actually have six campuses in Southern California. We have our main campus up in Azusa. We have the Marietta Regional Campus. We have Inland Empire, San Diego, Orange County, and High Desert. And at the regional campuses in particular, we have graduate and professional programs. So master's programs and uh, bachelor's completion programs. And these are some questions we took into account when planning out, planning out these programs. So are you looking for programs designed for the adult learner in mind? Do you have family and career commitments you can't neglect? And do you want to balance professional and personal needs? So um, all of our classes at the regional campuses are gonna be evening classes uh, when we don't have classes on Fridays or the weekends. And so if you take an in-person class, you're gonna be on campus one to two nights per week. At the Marietta campus, we have master's programs in school counseling and school psychology. We also have teacher education programs, so you can get your master's or teaching credential. We have master's programs in business and a bachelor's in business. And then we also have bachelor's programs for criminal justice, psychology, and communications. We also take pride in the fact that we are a yellow ribbon school. APU has agreed to offer student veterans a yellow ribbon scholarship. And so that's a scholarship on top of your federal or state aid. Um, and then we are also a military friendly school. We have a whole department dedicated to military and veteran education benefits. So those of you who have military benefits that you still want to use, APU is a great choice to look into. I want to promote an event that we have coming up this Tuesday. It's uh, September 29th in the evening. It's a virtual preview night for our Marietta campus. You'll get to um, learn a little bit about APU and then there will be breakout sessions where you can speak with faculty in the area that you're interested in. If you're interested in that, feel free to contact us. You can contact um, us pretty much any way through our campus, call or email us. Um, and then also, we have our website right here, uh, apu.edu slash Marietta. And then we also have social media. So if you um, want to DM, DM us on Instagram, I can get you an RSVP sheet. Um, but that's kind of all I have for the Marietta campus. And I'll pass it on to Randall for our main campus. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Randall Chavez and I'm admissions counselor over in the uh, main campus in Azusa, California. So let me go ahead and share my screen really quick. Awesome. So like I said, my name is Randall Chavez. I'm an admissions counselor, but I'm also an alumni of Azusa Pacific University and just I'm so excited to be sharing about who we are today. So if you're unfamiliar with who we are, we are a four-year private Christian university and the main difference between us and our uh, six other regional campuses is that our campus houses the traditional undergraduate experience. So we have dorms on campus, we have athletics, we are NCAA D2, uh, we have dining areas and just anything campus life. And on our campus you'll notice that we have 10,000 total students making us one of the largest pri private Christian schools on the west coast. And that breaks down into about 5,500 undergrad students and 4,500 graduate students. You'll also find we have a pretty diverse uh, student population on campus. We represent about 48 different countries on campus as well as 55 different denominations. We are a faith-based school, but you don't actually have to be a Christian to attend APU. So this is a space where we can really explore what your faith might look like and have meaningful conversations with others. But it is important to note that we do still have faith-based requirements such as chapels and Bible classes on campus. And although we are one of the larger private universities in the private Christian universities on the West Coast, we still have a student to faculty ratio of 11 to 1 and an average class size of 19 students. So as a student at APU, I never realized how much I would benefit from that small class size. My largest class was 60 students and as an upper class, uh, upperclassman, my largest class never went above 25 students. So you're really going to have those opportunities to get that one-on-one -on -one time from your professors. And then diving deeper into the classroom, you can choose from over 60 plus different bachelor degree degree programs. And this ranges from everything to our nationally ranked nursing program, our job building accounting program, theater, kinesiology, digital gaming, biochemistry, and so much more. And then if you are pretty set on wanting to continue your education past your bachelor's degree, we also have 49 master's programs and nine different doctoral programs. AP is also a, a R2 doctoral university, meaning we really want to focus on that commitment to serving scholarship to our students and just dedicating uh, much of our time into research. We also have some undergrad programs where you can actually conduct master's classes as an undergrad student, therefore saving a bit on time and money. 
And then moving forward into financial aid, there's only so much you can say in a short amount of time, but the most important piece about financial aid is that 100% of our students receive financial aid. One of our more, more common scholarships is going to be our academic scholarship. And this is a scholarship based upon your high school GPA. You'll receive between $7,000 and $21,000 every year, again, simply based on your high school GPA. And this is something that does, doesn't change during your four years. If you, for example, receive our $12,000 scholarship, that's the number you'll be receiving every year during your undergrad years. And then we also offer other various scholarships across our different programs and offices and can provide some additional grants based upon need or research. We also feature a very simple application. Applying with a general application can take about 20 minutes and is mobile friendly. So if you did want to get started right now, you could honestly probably finish before the event even ended. It can take probably around 20 minutes for again, the general application. Uh, for starters, if you are interested in applying, let's get in touch. I'd love to waive your application fee um, to really bridge the gap between you and applying for APU. And then uh, this year we are course going test optional for most of our programs. So you don't need to submit your SAT or ACT scores. However, if you did for some reason have the chance to previously, then you can still submit those to again determine your academic scholarship. And then if you do apply before November 15th, you'll be guaranteed to receive a admittance call within about three weeks from us. So if you just want to find out early if you can come to AP or not, this is a non-binding agreement. You can apply before November 15th and we'll reach out to you within three weeks. And then finally, uh, right down below, that's my contact information. Feel free to give me a call, give me an email. Um, feel free to screenshot that. That phone number is also my direct line. So if you want to call or text me and get, I get more information about some of our programs or about our application, feel free to do so. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Before we move on, I just wanted to let you all know that this is being recorded and will be shown all over the city platforms, all the different platforms. So if you have any questions that come up later with your contact info being available, you should still be able to get some emails to have, your, have extra questions answered. And next up is DigiPen Institute of Technology. Sorry, I was muted. My name is Adele Karoum and I'm here from DigiPen Institute of Technology. Um, DigiPen was founded in 1988. We are a private four-year college and we have four areas of expertise, computer science, digital art and animation, game design and development, and music and sound design. Um, we're located in Redmond, Washington. We're 16 miles east of Seattle, so about a 20 minute drive away. We're the first school in the world to offer a bachelor's degree in video game programming. We have 10 degree programs, eight undergraduate and two master's programs. Our average class size is 20. Our graduates are credited on more than 1500 commercial games. So that's not like project games that they made at school. These are actual games that you have heard of and game studios that you have heard of. Um, our students have earned over 255 awards and festival selections for their student films and animations. Um, we are ranked as a top five video game design school consistently by the Princeton Review for the last 10 years. Um, and our students have more IGF awards at the International Game Festival Awards than any other school in the world for their student projects. And they win a lot of awards for, for really, you know, they create a lot of projects, um, student, student created games and animations that take them very far. Um, we have basically four categories um, of degree programs, and I won't go through each of each of these, but at DigiPen you apply directly to your degree program. So you start in your very first year in those programs. And um, we have programs in computer science. We have game design and development. So that includes degrees that focus more on the coding and the programming side of things, and also degrees that focus more on the design. So things like level design, player experience, player psychology, that type of experience. Um, we also have digital art and animation programs. So that program starts out with one year of traditional art, so drawing, painting, sculpture, and then you go into 2D digital art and 3D digital art, and then into animation. Um, and finally, we have music and audio degrees. So we have a Bachelor of Arts in Music and Sound Design. So that's really more of a music degree. Um, and then we have a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Digital Audio. And that program is more for computer programming, but if you're interested in specifically programming related to audio. Um, our academic approach is based on fundamentals, so knowledge, theory, lecture classes, but also project-based learning. So students do a lot of um, interdisciplinary team projects, particularly in their third and fourth year, um, where they're working on a game team of usually seven to 10 students 
So it'll include computer programmers, game designers, artists, musicians, all working together to create games and animation projects. Um, so you get a lot of real world experience while you're still in school. Um, as you're preparing to apply all of our Bachelor of Science programs, we would like to see a focus on math, science, and problem solving. Pre-calculus is required for some of our computer science programs, so take a close look at our website or reach out to me afterwards to find out if it's required for what you're interested in. Um, it, it's recommended but not required if you're interested in game design or computer science and game design. Um, for our game design programs, we're looking more for a well-rounded experience, um, so writing, art, music, history, psychology. Um, Bachelor of Fine Arts, we want to see a strong foundation in drawing from observation. So not so much copying like anime or characters that maybe you like, but more drawing, you know, directly from observation, things like a shoe or a hand or a foot. Um, that's all part of our portfolio requirement. And for music, you need to demonstrate proficiency in music, instrumental or vocal. And so there's also a portfolio requirement for that program as well. Um, and here is our contact information. Feel free to reach out to me um, directly or through our outreach office. Outreach at digipen.edu is the best way to reach us or at this phone number. And we're happy to set up one-on-one -on -one admissions meetings um, and just meet with you independently or to tell you about our on-campus events that are available online. All righty, next up we have California State University, San Marcos. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, let me bring up my presentation here. Okay, so Cal State San Marcos is located in Southern California. Um, I would like to take this time to invite you um, to join us for our Discover CSUSM event on October 17th, which is a Saturday. So if you want to know more in detail about our institution, I invite you to sign up on our website. Um, and then we'll have another event in the spring once we admit our students. Um, so who we are is um, we have about 14,000 students, a little bit over 14,000 students. We have 34 bachelor's degree programs, um, 13 sports teams, and 150 teaching and research labs. Um, our mascot is uh, Crash the Cougar. You can see him at the top of the slideshow. Our popular majors are kinesiology, nursing, uh, business administration, criminology, criminology justice studies, um, biological science, and communication. And we do have on-campus housing um, with our university quad, or excuse me, university village apartments and the quad, which is uh, apartment style uh, residential housing. Um, we, same as the CSUs have already communicated today, um, our application opens up on October 1st. Uh, CalState.edu um, slash apply is where you would go fill it out. Um, closes on December 4th, so you have a um, small window to apply. We, um, Cal State San Marcos services our local service area, which includes Orange County, Riverside, and San Diego counties, but we do accept outside of our local service area, uh, depending on the majors you select. Uh, similar to what the other CSUs have also explained, um, we're looking for a 2.5 GPA, A through G requirements. Um, and you're, if you're outside of our local service area, it does increase to a 3.0. Um, we do have some impacted majors, which include our biological sciences, biotechnology, uh, business, electrical engineering, which is a new program, but it's already impacted. Um, kinesiology, nursing, and software engineering. Um, and we are not using, similar to everybody else, the CSU, uh, we're not using test scores, so no SATs, no ACTs to determine eligibility for admissions, but we are using them for placement. So if you have them, please send them in. Um, we also offer financial aid and scholarships, similar to all of our colleagues. So filling out your FAFSA, um, the application will open up on October 1st. Um, the DREAM application will also open up on October 1st, and then our general scholarship application, uh, October 1st through February 1st. Um, and that's for all of our institutional scholarships. Most of the institutions you've heard from today probably have something similar, so make sure you check that out. Um, these are the sports that we have. We're in oops, NCAA um, Division II. We have basketball, men's bas uh, baseball, um, men's basketball, women's ba basketball, uh, men's lacrosse, women's cross country, men's golf, women's golf, um, men's soccer, women's soccer, softball, men's track and field, as well as women, and women's volleyball. 
Um, we also have some specialized programs to help to support you through um, your time at Cal State San Marcos. Um, they range from academic success centers, which are our tutoring centers, um, to specialized programs like our ACE scholars for uh, former foster youth students, um, as well as our PASO program, which recruits um, Latinx students, um, and then our first generation programs, EOP, TRIO, and we also have in the Epstein Family Veterans Center that helps you for your all of your uh, questions related to veterans benefits and support for veterans um, dependents and um, veterans in active duty. Uh, this is our contact information. So I invite you to connect with us on social media. You can go ahead and send us um, an email or you can stop by our campus tour. We're having virtual tours. Um, and we're also um, going to be doing presentations and student panels. So reach out if you have any questions. Thank you. All right, with that, I believe that's everybody that was presenting today. If anybody has any questions, um, please post it to the Q&A. Uh, I do have a couple of questions that have already been uh, put through, such as for California State uh, University East Bay was what is the most sought after degree at your school besides technology? Well, I would probably say biology is very popular um, because the biotech in the region and gateway to medical school and other programs as well. And there's a host of concentrations in the biology. There's ecology and conservation biology. There's biomedical laboratory science, which is very popular. It leads to certifications in California lab sciences with just completion of the degree and a test for sponsored by the state of California. No master required, you're already a California lab scientist upon passing the, um, the test and completing the degree. All right, the next one is for Vanguard, which is how long does programs last when not including a teaching credential? Yeah, when not including a teaching credential, we do have a four-year graduation guarantee. And so for students, uh, for any major that you're a part of, we do guarantee that you'll graduate in four years. All righty, um, for New Mexico State University, uh, are there different application processes for out-of-state students? No, um, it's the same. It's a very simple application. You don't need a recommendation. You don't need, um, there are no essays. It's on our website and it is the same application for everyone. All righty, for Westcliff uh, University, do most of your students live on or off campus? Uh, the majority of our students live uh, off campus, and so we don't have actual dorm rooms on the campus of the school, and uh, we have a part, would be apartment living through the university. Alrighty, for DigiPen Institute of Technology, what other uh, academic sources are available to students, such as uh, tutor and career counseling, study skills, and workshops? Okay, um, we have SSAs, our Student Success Advisors, so that's going to be the person who helps you with selecting your classes. Um, career Services, we have a really strong program. We have career days where student, where companies come and talk about their, they come and talk about their companies and what it's like to work there. And we also have career fairs and internship fairs. Our career fairs are a little bit different from other schools where normally you would walk around a career fair with your resume. At DigiPen, we have it set up so that the companies come to the school and they actually can see the student-based projects. And so they can see like you were a character artist on this particular animation or you were um, a computer programmer on this particular game. And so um, so our career, career services is very good for placing people specifically in tech companies and in the video game industry. Okay, next one is for California State University Maritime Academy. Um, what, is, what type of extracurricular activities are on campus? So we offer uh, NAI division uh, sports, but we also have a lot of club sports. So rugby is actually a club sport on our campus, um, as well as like golf and water polo. So a lot of our programs tend to be student-based. So one year, uh, water polo will be a huge club. Next year, it'll be swim. So it really just depends on the student population and what they feel like is going to be best uh, in their interest. Uh, we just started our women's soccer club, so we're very excited about that. Um, and we have over different 30, like 30 different clubs on campus. Some of them are just dedicated to hiking. Uh, being in the Bay Area, you have a lot of access to great trails, uh, great wild parks. Um, we have a road trip club. So it just really depends on the needs of our students. 
Um, and we're really well located in terms of where students want to go for, especially outdoor activities. Our students do a lot of outdoor activities. Alrighty, the next one is for Azusa Pacific University main campus. Is there a difference in the application processes for the different levels? Uh, for the, the only different applications would be for our undergrad programs and then our graduate and doctoral programs. So uh, we have three different applications available for those three different levels of degree. Alrighty, and for the Azusa Pacific University in Murrieta, um, what do students like most about that location? Uh, most of our students, like I said, are might be working professionals or they might have families that they're taking care of. So the convenience of uh, the location being close to home and the class sizes being in the evenings. And they also, um, the, the in-person classes, they really enjoy the fact that they, they get to talk to people and kind of meet people in their same situation and they become kind of a, a very close cohort. So that's, that's the student's favorite part about our campus. Okay, and for California State University of San Marcos, what makes your college unique? Um, I think what makes our college unique um, are our faculty and our commitment to um, to students and social justice. Uh, we have several programs um, in our um, facility, our new USU, that help um, students navigate the the university system. Um, and we also have, similar to everybody else, a uh, very popular nursing program, um, as well as a second facility in Temecula, which I forgot to mention earlier. All right, that looks like that's all of the questions. If there are any other further questions, the uh, present uh, presenters would be more than happy to answer any other questions by email. Um, if nobody has anything else, Okay, thank you for coming, thank you for presenting, and thank you for sharing your time. Thank you so much for letting us be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.